Okay, in this video we're going to talk about linear pair theorem. So a linear pair is when you have a straight angle, so a straight angle being an angle made on a straight line. So we have a line going in either direction, and then we've also got a second ray segment line, whatever it is, but which intersects with our original line. So a straight angle, an angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. That's our definition of a straight angle. And then we've also got this new angle that's created. So we've got angle one and angle two. And our angle addition postulate tells us that if we have two angles added together, their total value is just going to be equal to their sum. So there's nothing added, there's nothing gained. So we can say the linear pair theorem is going to be angle one plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. If two things or more, two or more things add up to be 180 degrees, we say they are supplementary. So a linear pair of angles are supplementary to each other. They add up to be 180 degrees. An example of where you might see this, we've got line again divided by an angle, and we would say angle one over here, or this first angle, is 150 degrees, and we're asked to solve for the missing one. We would say, well, together, they should add up to 180, so 180 is 150 plus the missing angle, and to get the missing angle on its own, we subtract 150 from both sides, so we end up with 30 degrees is equal to our missing angle. And if it goes into an algebraic sort of question, it's not really any different. So same idea. We've got a linear pair of angles. Let's say this one is 3x plus 8. And this one is going to be 14x plus 2. So that is the whole angle as an algebraic expression. So we'd say, well, I still know these two are supplementary by linear pair theorem. So 3x plus 8 plus 14x plus 2 must equal 180 degrees. Combine like terms, 17x plus 10 equals 180. Start trying to solve for x. So subtract 10 from both sides. 17x equals 170 degrees, and then divide both sides by 17. x is equal to 10. And then usually you'll be asked to go back and you know, figure out what the value of the angles is. So substituting back in, 3 times 10 plus 8 is 38 degrees, and 14 times 10 plus 2 14 times 10 is 140, plus 2, so that would be 142 degrees. And just to check, if we added the two of those together, we would get 180 degrees, so our straight angle back again. 